editing is the worst part of writing. Actually, that's not true. The worst part of writing is not writing. It is part of every writing process, the not writing part. But editing is the second worst part about writing. Why is it such a nightmare? First, because it's boring. Editing is boring work. It is all about the small details, the commas, the word that the spell checker wrote by mistake and you almost skip it when you read, you don't notice it. It is being a pedantic, annoying clerk, sitting and going over every word, seeing that it's the right word in the right place, in the right spelling, with the right grammar, with all the right writing rules, etc., etc. It really is not something a creative person would want to do. It's not something that a creative person likes to do. It's a work for accountants, word accountants. It is horrible, but you have to do it. And you have to do it well, and you have to do it a lot. Why do you have to do it? They are editors. Why do I have to go and edit my text? I'm a creative. I just pour everything on the paper, on the keyboard. I don't have to do all the annoying parts. There are word engineers for that. They are called editors. They are getting paid. They don't have their own life, so they put a lot of energy into finding your mistakes. They are usually very sad people. Most of the time, disgruntled writers themselves, but that is another story. But they exist. Why not use them? Well, you will have to use them in the end. You don't really have a choice. If you ever want to publish something, it has to pass through a professional editor. Somebody who actually knows the rules. Somebody who is actually meticulous enough to go over every letter and check them. You can do that. You should do that. You will do that. But this is not your profession, and it's not really who you are. So why am I saying edit your work anyway? Why do I insist that you should do the major part, the lion's share of the editing. Because if you don't edit your work, somebody dumber will. And I don't want to belittle editors. I don't want to say bad things about them, but let's face it. A bitter, disgruntled writer does not have the most motivation to make the best out of your creation out of your personal creation that you have just poured from inside your soul into the page. It's not their fault. They are very good at what they do, editing. But the chance that an editor would really understand who you are, what you do, what you're trying to say, is slim to none. The idea that you would expect them to understand that that is preposterous, especially for what they are getting paid. You will need a professional editor. You will have a professional editor. Do as much editing as possible before you get to him. Bring the editor something that is almost done. 90%, 80%. Something that already passed the first phases. Let him do the last professional finish, the polish. Let him take the product and perfect it. But the more editing that you do on your own material, the more editing that you do on your own stories, book, articles, whatever, the more are the chances that you will manage to say what you really say that your intention, that your original intention is kept. And this is something important. This is something that you really want to defend, something that you want to fight for. One of the ways of fighting for it is doing your own editing, making sure that the person that is editing understands the text, understands you, understands the whole story. 
And the only person that really understands is you. Edit your texts. When you are ready with them, pass them to the professional editor. Because whatever you will not edit, someone dumber will.